Kim Kardashian has given fans alleged proof of cosmetic surgeries while out on a mother-son date with seven-year-old Saint. Kim took Saint to the Skirball Cultural Center in Los Angeles for an educational tour. According to the center's website, the Skirball Cultural Center is a place of meeting guided by the Jewish tradition of welcoming the stranger and inspired by the American democratic ideals of freedom and equality. The duo looked very stoic and serious after their tour at the center. Saint wore red and black outfits. His sweatshirt was black with a red Nike logo printed all over it and he wore a red hat with a white logo. Kim sported an all-black outfit that consisted of a black floor-length dress with long sleeves and a turtleneck as well as pointy black boots. Her hair was slicked back in a tight ponytail, and she was in full glam with diamond earrings. What's going on, Kim? In the photos, eagle-eyed fans noticed that the KUWTK alum was having a hard time keeping her mouth closed in the photos. Some fans think the Kardashian's open mouth is an unfortunate side effect of her alleged cosmetic surgeries, specifically a lip lift. A fan commented, her mouth is always open, and a fan replied, side effect from the lip lift procedure she had. Another said, Kim looks like Detox kinda, with a gif of the legendary drag queen. Detox is a drag performer that appeared on RuPaul's Drag Race, and she's known for her massive amounts of plastic surgery. I'm doing K-A-N-Y-E. Kim's ex-husband and Saint's father Kanye West went on an anti-Semitic rant in October, so their trip to the Skirball Cultural Center was more important than ever. His remarks led Gap and added us to cut their ties with the rapper, despite Kanye's claims that he is above being canceled. A few days after he wore a White Lives Matter t-shirt, he said he was going death con 3 on Jewish people. It was an apparent referral to the U.S. military's defense readiness condition, which indicates the level of threat to national security. The billionaire went on to allege he wasn't anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew also, and that he is the victim of a Jewish underground media mafia. Then, he insisted he did not regret his anti-Semitic remarks though he later apologized for the hurt and confusion he had caused. Kim condemned his behavior and said, hate speech is never okay or excusable. I stand together with the Jewish community and call on the terrible violence and hateful rhetoric towards them to come to an immediate end.